Hey, this is John at Smash Balloon. I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of how to set up and configure the custom Facebook feed WordPress plugin. So I've just downloaded the plugin. I'm going to go to the plugins page. I'm going to add new. I'm going to upload and then browse the zip file that I just downloaded. Install now. And then I'm going to activate the plugin. So the plugin is now activated. I'm going to go down to the Facebook feed menu on the left here and go to the license page and just copy and paste in my license key, save changes, and then click activate. So my license is now activated. So now I'm gonna to go to the settings page. So there are two things you'll need in order to display your feed. The first is an access token, which you can get from Facebook. And if you don't have one of these, there are step-by-step -step directions on the Smash Balloon website, which walk you through the process. Once you have your access token, just paste it into this field here. So I'm just going to copy and paste mine in. The second thing you'll need is a Facebook page ID. You can usually find this out from your Facebook page URL. So if your URL is constructed like this, then your page ID would be the slug at the end. If it's constructed like this, then your page ID would be the numeric ID at the end of your URL. If you're using a group, there's a handy little tool here where you can just paste in your group URL and it'll give you your ID. So once you have that, you just need to paste it into this field. So for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use the page ID from the MBA Facebook page. So that is all you need in the plugin in order to display your posts. I'm just going to set up another couple of quick options here. I'm going to change the number of posts to 15 and set the caching to two hours rather than one. And I'm going to save my changes. So now to display my feed, I just need to grab this custom Facebook feed shortcode and I can put that into any page, post, or widget wherever I want the feed to show up. So I'm going to go to Pages. I'm going to go to a page that I've already set up and paste in my shortcode and click Update. So now if I view the page, you'll see the feed show up. So this is just using the basic styling inherited from your theme, nothing too exciting. So let's jump into the layout style page and customize a few things. So there are tons of options you can use to basically customize a feed in any way you like. I'm just going to run through a few of them. So let's set a height on the feed of 500 pixels. Um, let's put some padding on the feed of 20 pixels. Let's put a background color on the feed. Um, let's just select a nice light gray so there we go we'll just paste that in so here i can define which types of posts i want to display maybe just videos maybe just photos maybe photos videos and links just uncheck some of these for now i'm going to keep them all checked i can also choose to display only posts which contain a certain string or hashtag so if i save my changes now you'll see that these basic styles have been applied So now we have a height, a background color, and padding on the feed. You can see we have the number of likes, shares, and comments beneath each post. You can see the most recent comments. But let's get crazy and go and change some more stuff. So I'm going to go back to the layout style page and the post layout tab. So you can choose from three basic preset layouts, thumbnail, half width, or full width. So I'm going to change this to half width for now. And at the bottom here, you can choose which parts of a post you want to show or hide. So you could choose to hide the date, maybe the descriptions, maybe you want to hide the likes, shares, and comments. For now, we're going to keep these all checked. So I'm going to save my changes and then move on to the next tab, which is the typography tab. So this contains settings for all of the text within the feed. So the first thing I'll do is set a maximum text length to 200. Um, same on the description. And you can change the text for the See More button, which will be appended to the text. Um, let's just change this to Expand. And we'll change this to Hide Me. Um, you, can, you can translate this to a different language. You can keep it as See More, See Less. Let's go down to Post Text. We can change the format, paragraph, headings, um, the text size, the weight, the color. So let's change the text to a yeah about dark purple. 
seems nice. Um, whether or not you want to link the text to the Facebook post, we'll skip that. Um, the description, let's change the text size down to 12 pixels. We'll keep it as normal. We'll change the color to maybe a darkish gray. Something like that. And then we'll go down to the date. The date can be above or below the text. Uh, we'll make the size pretty small, maybe 11 pixels. And we'll change the color to be, have an orange color. Let's make it a nice, maybe a nice orangey color. There we go. So we'll put that in there. You can change the format to be whatever kind of date format you want. Let's change it to be um, just this one. And then I can change the text before or after the date. So I'll change this to posted on and the text after the date can just be left blank. So event titles and event dates and event details. Um, we'll skip past these for now just because I'm not displaying any events in this feed. And then the link to Facebook. I'm going to change the text size to be 12 pixels. The weight can be bold. And we'll change the color to be nice bright red. How about that? And we can change the text to be whatever we like. So I'm just going to change this to comment on Facebook. Exclamation point. Okay, so now I'm going to save these changes. And then before we view our feed, I'm just going to go over to the MISC tab and set a few more options. So I'm just going to set the text color to a dark gray and the background color to white for the likes, shares, and comments. Um, I can add any custom CSS I want. So for example, let's add a border to the feed. So I'm just going to set the border to be one pixel and we'll make it a, a lightish gray. And then maybe we want to set border radius on the feed too of five pixels. So you can do the same with custom JavaScript if you want to add any scripts to the plugin. And if I go down to the light box settings, I can choose to show or hide the light box. I can put it at the top or the bottom of my feed, inside or outside of the scrollable area. So let's put it outside. You can set a bunch of other options here. Um, the only one we're going to set is the show faces of fans. If I go down to the separating line section, I'm going to just put in a line color and then let's make it three pixels and save the changes. So now I'm going to go back and view my feed. Okay, so you can see that our customizations have been applied. Now this is just for demo purposes, so obviously the colors don't go too well together. But this just gives you an example of how customizable the plugin is. You can see the different text colors, text sizes, the different custom strings that we've used, um, the comments below each post, custom date format. You can play the videos inside of the posts. I'm Clay Thompson. I'm Stephen Curry. You can make it full screen. You can view the video on YouTube, or you can view the post directly on Facebook. And if I scroll down to some of the longer posts, you'll see that the maximum text limit has been applied with the custom string that we used. And then at the bottom of the feed, we have the like box with the faces of the fans. Now, another great feature of the plugin is that you can use the short code to display multiple feeds with different page layout, different post types, even displaying posts from different Facebook pages. So I'm just gonna jump back into the settings and show you how to do that. So I'm on my widgets page and I'm gonna use a basic text widget put that into my sidebar and I'm going to call this events and I'm going to put in the custom Facebook feed shortcode and I'm going to change the ID the page ID to be smash balloon I'm going to change the type of post that I want to show to be events I'm going to change the layout to be full I'm going to change the Facebook link text to be view event and I'm going to change the event title format to be an h4 tag and there's a full list of all of these shortcut options in the documentation section of the smash balloon website 
So if I save my changes and go back and refresh my page, you'll see the second feed has appeared. And this is pulling events from the Smash Balloon Facebook page. So you can see the event image with the event date, the location with the address, and the location will link to the actual location Facebook page. The map will be a Google map, the location. You got the event description with the view event link and the buy tickets link. And you can use the shortcut options to customize multiple feeds in any way you like. So you can remove the background color, hide the like box, basically anything you can do on the settings pages you can do through the shortcut options. So that just gives you a little taster of the custom Facebook feed WordPress plugin. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email over on the smashballoon.com support page.